Question 14b, part 1. Show that sine cubed theta minus 3 over 4 sine theta plus sine 3 theta over 4 equals 0. Starting off with sine 3 theta, that can be written as sine 2 theta plus theta. Then we have the sine of a compound angle, and expanding that, we get sine 2 theta cos theta plus sine theta cos 2 theta. Now we have the sine of a double angle here and the cosine of a double angle here. So expanding all that, we get 2 sine theta cos theta multiplied by cos theta plus sine theta outside of 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Expanding the brackets, we get 2 sine theta cos squared theta plus sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. And expressing cos squared theta in terms of sine squared theta using a Pythagorean identity, that equals 2 sine theta outside of 1 minus sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. And expanding the brackets, that equals 2 sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta plus sine theta minus 2 sine cubed theta. So collecting the like terms, we get sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. The next step is to rearrange this equation by moving all the terms on the right hand side over to the left hand side. So 4 sine cubed theta minus 3 sine theta plus sine 3 theta equals 0. And the final step is to divide all the terms by 4. So therefore sine cubed theta minus 3 over 4 sine theta plus 1 over 4 sine 3 theta equals 0 as required. Part 2. By letting x equals 4 sine theta in the cubic equation x cubed minus 12x plus 8 equals 0, show that sine 3 theta equals half. Substituting 4 sine theta for x in the cubic equation x cubed minus 12x plus 8 equals 0, we get 4 sine theta to the power of 3 minus 12 multiplied by 4 sine theta plus 8 equals 0. Expanding the brackets, we get 64 sine cubed theta minus 48 sine theta plus 8 equals 0. Dividing all terms by 16, we get 4 sine cubed theta minus 3 sine theta plus half equals 0. Subtracting half from both sides, so effectively moving this positive half over to the right hand side so it becomes negative half, we get 4 sine cubed theta minus 3 sine theta is equal to negative half. Multiplying all the terms by negative 1, we get 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta equals half. And from part 1, sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta, hence sine 3 theta equals half as required. Part 3. Prove that sine squared pi over 18 plus sine squared 5 pi over 18 plus sine squared 25 pi over 18 equals 3 over 2. From part 2, sine 3 theta equals half. Taking the inverse sine of both sides, we get 3 theta is equal to pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 13 pi over 6, 17 pi over 6, 25 pi over 6, and so on. Dividing both sides by 3, we get theta is equal to pi over 18, 5 pi over 18, 13 pi over 18, 17 pi over 18, 25 pi over 18, and so on. Now 4 sine pi over 18, 4 sine 5 pi over 18, 4 sine 13 pi over 18 and so on are roots of the cubic equation x cubed minus 12x plus 8 equals 0. But the roots need to be distinct. Now 4 sine 5 pi over 18 is equal to 4 sine 13 pi over 18 since 5 pi over 18 and 13 pi over 18 are supplementary. This is a quadrant 1 angle, this is a quadrant 2 angle. Also, 4 sine pi over 18 is equal to 4 sine 17 pi over 18 for the same reason. Hence, 4 sine pi over 18, 4 sine 5 pi over 18, and 4 sine 25 pi over 18 are distinct roots of the equation x cubed minus 12x plus 8 equals 0. Now the sum of the square of the roots, so it's alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma all squared minus 2 outside of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, and that's equal to negative b over a all squared minus 2 multiplied by c over a, and that equals 0 squared minus 2 multiplied by negative 12 over 1, 
and that equals 24. Hence, 4 sine pi over 18 all squared plus 4 sine 5 pi over 18 all squared plus 4 sine 25 pi over 18 all squared is equal to 24. So this is our alpha, this is our beta, and this is our gamma. So expanding the brackets, we get 16 sine squared pi over 18 plus 16 sine squared 5 pi over 18 plus 16 sine squared 25 pi over 18 equals 24. Dividing all the terms by 16, we get sine squared pi over 18 plus sine squared 5 pi over 18 plus sine squared 25 pi over 18 equals 3 over 2 as required.